The shooting at Robb Elementary changing the course of the election this year, especially in Uvalde. There are several new faces on the ballot for one race in particular, County Commissioner Precinct 2. The night team's Lee Waldman spoke with write-in candidate Javier Caceres. I promised her from that day that I was going to fight to change, you know, for, uh, try to fight for change um, as much as I could. With his daughter's picture hanging from his neck, Javier Caceres is taking on a new venture. I'm going to do uh, the best that I can to, to uh, uh, if I get elected, you know, to, to make those things, those changes and from the smallest to the biggest. Though he's never seen himself as a political person, Casadas is running for Uvalde County Commissioner Precinct 2 as a writing candidate. I'm a parent first, not a politician. Currently in the seat, Mariano Pargas Jr. He's held the position for over a decade and originally was running unopposed. That is until the Rob tragedy. I mean, I know who he is and what he does, but I uh, didn't know that he was actually there till just a month ago. Pargas was serving as the interim police chief for Uvalde PD that day. He's since been placed on leave. Gossetis says this played a role in his decision to throw his hat in the political ring. Everybody in the world saw what happened that day and, and he was in that video as well. Gossetis says his platform is simple. He's fighting for changes to keep other kids like his daughter Jackie safe and fighting for more rigorous police training. I can't promise anything because I, I've, I've like I said, I'm not in that position yet, but I'm going to do my best to do my part versus promising somebody that I don't want to make a promise I can't keep. While his political aspirations are new, the families of the other Rob victims are backing him wholeheartedly. We emailed Mariano Parga several times about his reelection campaign, but have not gotten a response back. There are two other writing candidates for County Commissioner Precinct 2, Julio Valdez and Diana Olvedo Carew. Valdez declined an interview, but you'll hear from Alvedo Carew tomorrow night on the Night Beat. And Uvalde, Lee Waldman, KSAT 12 News.